a nostalgia critic guy, remember it so you don't have to. Let's talk about Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm required to say before DeviantArt? <laughs> The iconic Sega Genesis character not only had several hit games in the 90s, but also two successful TV shows both on at the same time. It was like having Batman the Animated Series and Batman the 60s show both on simultaneously. It was strange, but kind of cool. As the years went on though, Sonic gradually slipped, making clumsy games with clumsy storylines. What, you didn't want to see Sonic turn into a werewolf or make out with Final Fantasy foldouts? Oh, some of you did. I'm also required again to say there is no DeviantArt in this video. Why do I suddenly have 10 emails of inflated Sonics? Despite this, or maybe in light of this, Sonic has grown a very large fan base online. Its reputation is odd, to say the least, but just because I don't understand something doesn't mean it's bad. And I'm gonna take a wild guess and say there's Stranger Things online. Well, why should I Google Ka from the Jungle Book? I see no reason why not. Oh God! Okay, we're getting off topic. My point is, people have been asking me to review Sonic Media for years, but all I've gotten up to is the Sonic Sat AM show. I haven't really seen any of the new shows or played many of the new games after that. But then somebody brought up that there's a Sonic movie! No, not that one. Not that one either. Though I hear the Forrest Gun Soldier is very good in that. I'm talking about the anime OVA! <music> Premiering in Japan in 1996, this got a video release in America around 1999. So not even an hour long, all the advertisements clearly label it as the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. So I guess it counts. Does it lure newcomers into the mix? Does it please diehard loyalists? Is there room for my fan character in a Sonic critic? When in Rome, let's take a look at the Sonic the Hedgehog OVA movie. Oh come on, they don't even have the singers going SEGA! Although I suppose if we updated it, it'd be Son of a bitch. As the credits roll, we see Metal Sonic seems to have been built by Dr. Wily. I mean Robotnik, I mean Eggman, I mean... You know what, Dr. Wily? This is all just a furry version of Mega Man! Think about it! Small blue hero stops big mustache scientist who takes over robots, has a dog, a girl, and a ton of sequels people hate. You laugh! I ponder. We cut to Sonic, who resides in... An area of activity. Where Tails, his psychic slash child slash adult slash fiction, is off to use his surfboard. Come on, you wanna try it out? Not right now, thanks. Tails is just like a little kid with his new toy. I bet a lot of you thought he was a little kid. Let me unconfuse this by explaining nothing. Oh, and I mean nothing. There are no intros for anyone. We're just supposed to already know who everyone is and what their characteristics are. Hi, Sonic! I have some news for you! Oh, not that old man again. I mean, owl scientists and rocket ships clearly explain themselves. At the very least, you could throw in some Looney Tunes introductions. Even something as little as this could help. Ah! Wow, even shorter than I thought. Look out in his storms. No, Sonic saves the both of them as the owl scientist lets Sonic know that he's needed. Did you say you had some urgent business? Oh, right. It's a real emergency. You see, the president... Why do I feel like they came up with the owl's voice the same day they recorded it? What are you talking about, Mr. Sonic? I know how to handle them. You're recording the owl scientist. Go! I thought I was just delivering blow. You're a voice actor now. Go! Um... Oh, hi, Sonic! I'm an owl! Hmm, you've done this before. Question my life choices? Yes. He wants us to come to the presidential house right away! That's it! That's it! You know, it might have been easier if you just called to tell us that. I mean... Do we have phones? We don't seem to have clothes that cover our genitalia. Are we just really advanced nudists? But either a drunk Teddy Roosevelt is president or Robotnik has taken over. Hi, everybody! Hi, Hi Robotnik! Robotnik. Please accept a small token of my gratitude. No! Sonic, for the sake of my daughter and everyone else, listen to him! It seems Robotnik has the president and his daughter captured, which is usually the third act of a movie and not usually the first couple minutes. Now, Sonic, I've got the upper hand! This is about the entire planet of freedom, so you better do as I say! Oh, so kidnapping the president was just an attention getter. Sonic must be a real asshole! Actually, I'm not too far off. Robotnik says he actually needs help because a robotic version of him took over his lair and a generator of energy has to be stopped before it blows up the world. 
our dickhead of a hero could care less. Forget about it. Why should I have to go around cleaning up your messes? Fine! Don't blame me when this happens! I thought it was nice that they gave those dyslexic Batman sound effects a home. Sonic, please do it! We find out quickly, though, that everyone's kind of a taint in this universe. Sonic, I don't care what happens to Robotnik or Daddy, but please just do this for the <gasps> two of us. Wow! First thing, bitch. Second thing, are you two an item now? They tried that in another game. The results were... Huey. Nice smile. <laughs> I'm working through things. Dark things. Sonic agrees for whatever disturbed relationship he has with Sarah, and Robotnik gives Tails a watch to get him to his lair. Using the shortest and fastest route. Thank you, Robotnik. Don't thank me, just blow your nose. You sound like a constipated Simpson child. Tails, do you actually trust that ridiculous little gadget that Robotnik built for you? But Dr. Robotnik is the only person who knows where Robotropolis is, so we have to use his navigator and hope it works. Wow, that was probably the most anime line delivery the movie's had yet. I'm just going to say words until I run out of words, and then these words are going to stop being words, words. I guess so. Confusingly, back with the president, the video game characters are playing video game characters. Just give up! We've played a hundred times! I'll stop being your hostage. All right, start it again! Okay, one of us is an idiot. We then cut back to Tails and Sonic. Thank God we did that! Back to video games! No, no! You beat me again! Apparently one of Robotnik's pods drops in, and both Sarah and Robotnik hop in. No! Stop! Come back, Sarah! I just want to make sure we are high right now, right? Sonic and Tails come across some tough winds and end up crashing. Nice landing. Thanks. They run through all the traps laid out for them and free the animals inside the robots like in the game or just disembowel them. We'll just assume they used to be bad. They get to Robotropolis after crossing some ancient relics, indicating that Sonic the Hedgehog takes place in our current future? Finally, the Adventure Time crossover we never knew we wanted and will wish stayed that way! We should hurry! Ah, I'm a of lightning! <laughs> Tails always acts like a kid when there's lightning, but apparently he isn't. I don't know. But Metal Robotnik appears to try and stop them! <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought it was funny. Hell, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> <laughs> the levels, it works on so many of them. Come here! We don't have time to mess around with some robot! That's literally all you do. Does Sonic play Sonic games? He grows a rocket pack and wings and tries to hunt them down. Don't think you're safe yet. I'm well aware that neither one of you can swim! Or... Maybe you can, you just play really anxiety-provoking music whenever you're about to drown. My butthole still clenches every time I hear that! You didn't think I'd fall for a stupid trick like that, did you? <laughs> okay, am I seeing that wrong, or is he shitting bullets on them? That must be some devilish Taco Bell you had earlier. Metamucil, you'll be shitting bullets for a week. He fires missiles as well to totally eradicate Sonic. There's no way you could have gotten rid of Sonic that easily with those missiles! Easily? The end of Akira didn't have an explosion that big! They would call him the Blue Blur because that's what he would look like just standing there! Sonic does survive for... reasons. And Knuckle Dial Dundee comes in to help out. Sonic, grab a hold! There! Oh! My unborn child! Oh, the robality! Robotnik and Sarah arrive, though, as Robotnik claims Sonic will have more to worry about. He'll have to fight something far more evil than Metal Robotnik! Hey, yeah! What do you mean worse than Metal Robotnik? You better keep your hands off my Sonic or I'll never forgive you! Okay, does my Sonic mean Hedgehog or Hedge? Because either way, I'm very disturbed. Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles get to Robotropolis where they come across... Okay, even by Sonic designs, that's lazy. 
Speaking of which, does Robotnik have to incorporate his face into everything? Seriously, wouldn't that get in the way of the function after a while? I want my face on that machine! Well, we can paint it on and... No, my mustache has to be the gears, and my eyes the measuring rods! That compromises the efficiency. A blue hedgehog could easily destroy it. Evil must look beautiful! Okay, you're the face of the company. And the company's my face! They come across Metal Sonic, who now has Sonic's abilities, which were copied while he was in that machine. Metal Sonic, I'll admit, to look at him is actually kind of intimidating. Though granted, he's designed like an Evangelion Marvin the Martian. Your planet's blocking of Venus results in termination. Isn't that lovely, hmm? But Robotnik and Sarah arrive on the scene. Sarah! That part was rewound. So what about this plot, Robotnik? <laughs> Way to keep it classy, Robotnik. You came all the way here and now you'll die here. I'm going to use metal to destroy the real Sonic and then I can completely destroy the land of the sky. What did you say? So I'm not sure why he made this fake mission to defeat Sonic when he already had him and the president in perfect executable positions, but now Metal Sonic is after him. <laughs> He has the power to turn into 80s music videos! I can't hear Take On Me Again! <laughs> the robot did the robot. That's Mecha Meta. I'm not a scientist! I can't understand that technical jargon! Looks like that's it! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Does Robotic have a Muppet Satan setting? Sonic will never again be a pain in my egg! Wait, am I called Eggman yet? Oh, who cares? The parents kind of get it! Metal Sonic also has plans for Sonic's friends back home. Ah, Master Sonic, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Wait, what are you doing? Stop! Not even the Owling survived. So Robotnik starts his... Um, second attack on the president's home. Could this be the work of Metal Robotnik? Well, we're three fours in. Might as well have an inner monologue with a character so secondary you could call him Quaternary. But it looks like Metal Sonic didn't destroy the owl and instead turned him into a painful reminder of when this was made. He forced me to put on these clothes and then flew away without saying anything. <laughs> I suddenly want to extreme Capri Sun Skydive Good Burger. Anyone else? And since there's no better time... We'll be the only ones left! Then we can get married! Are you crazy? I would marry you if you're the last man on Earth! But I will be the last man on Earth! Oh, who cares? Everyone knows the reason I gave you that dress is because it's an anime and we're near the third act. We need upskirt options! No, no, don't come there, you pervert! I'll give credit, that's the most imaginative way I've seen that done. You're a perfect target for me now, Fox! Enemy fighters coming at you, Fox! Fire! Peek-a-boo, asshole! Yes! Okay, even the smoke debris has his face? He probably could have killed Sonic with a hedgehog-seeking missile years ago, but couldn't find a way to work his ugly mug onto it. <laughs> Knuckles and Tails save Sarah, but big shock, things get sexually awkward. Uh, Tails! Get off! I'm so sorry! I never thought you'd stoop that low. Wow. Well, can't act like I'm shocked I have to play this. Kids, there's nothing more cool than being hugged by someone you like. But if someone tries to touch you in a place or in a way that makes you feel uncomfortable, that's no good. I was like a cowboy with a gun holster with that clip. But Sonic and Metal Sonic continue to fight. Knuckles, stop the magma! Uh, I don't know. Would you try for me, brave man? <laughs> Would you do it for a Sarah snack? Fight! Yes, ma'am! <laughs> <laughs> How come we're not freezing to death? Everybody tries to help Sonic out, and she is sitting on his face! What the hell, Japan? You are giving kids no chance to have a normal sex life! Wow. They knock out Metal Sonic, but then the president comes in to make things more complicated. The president's timing couldn't be worse. I think that's what presidents specialize in. Tails tries to get the president out while Metal Sonic gets back up and continues to fight. Mm -hmm. <gasps> A thumbs down! In Japan, that's like... 
A thumbs down! They get the president out, and Sonic ends up roasting the metal headache. You are the chosen one! Grab a hold of my hand! There is only one Sonic I didn't realize that I loved him! Confused! Well, we didn't learn jack shit. Not quite! So now we're finally even, Sonic. <laughs> Come back! Because that's what it's all about. Repress sexual aggression. Can't wait to hear you make an argument for anything else. Yeah, I wouldn't announce that so proudly. I'd be more like... Sonic? Because brother, this was weird! The animation is nice, as well as the backgrounds, but this is an overly complicated story with either too little character or too much presumption that we already know what these people are like. I guess I can't be too angry at it, as it plays exactly like what it is, a giant commercial. It's not obnoxiously annoying, and there's nothing offensive. Ish. But it just feels empty and pointless. I can see some kids having fun with it, but for the fastest hedgehog alive, this could have been a lot more interesting and a lot more cool. Get on your running shoes and dash away from this as fast as possible. Or, as Sonic Says would say, First, you say no, then you get out of this. I'm not a nostalgia critic, I remember, so you don't have to. Hey, Doug Walker here doing the charity shout out and this week we are doing the Alliance for the Great Lakes and once again this ties into our newest show we're doing called What You Can Do that shows how you can volunteer at different organizations and charities and that's one we're doing this week so we're just going to show a little snippet of it if you'd like to donate to it the link is right there or if you'd like to volunteer you know Great Lakes is a very <laughs> it's very very big so definitely look into it and see if you want to volunteer uh, here's a little snippet of some of the great work that they do. My name is Tyrone Dobson and I'm the volunteer manager for the Alliance for the Great Lakes. And what are you guys doing out here today? We're doing a beach cleanup today. So we do, um, our Adoptive Beach program is one of our longest running programs. We service 15,000 volunteers each year. And those volunteers last year picked up 36,000 pounds of trash. Um, and so they're doing work all over the Great Lakes. So in all eight states that border the Great Lakes, we have volunteers cleaning up all year long. It kind of gives you a sense of pride because you see your city coming together to really make good work. We were sitting here and we we're like, oh man, it's, the weather is so crappy, it's kind of rainy. Um, and then out of nowhere, 20 people showed up and it was almost like I blinked and then there they were. So it gives me a lot of pride in my position to know that I'm helping people come out and do this type of work. And they're doing a lot, not only to help the actual city so that the beach gets cleaned up, but we're also doing great work for the things that can't advocate for themselves, like the wildlife in the area, or even the small children that come out with their families to recreate on the beach. Discovery Channel Shark Week, what are you doing here? We're here hoping to clean up some beaches and you know spread a little bit of awareness. Ocean Conservancy is a huge part of Shark Week every year. Obviously, we really care about conserving the world's oceans and you know giving back to the community. And Shark Week's an awesome, fun program, and it's our 30th anniversary this year. This is definitely a huge part of what Shark Week is meant to do is to kind of bring awareness about what's going on in the world in terms of the ocean. You know, we were saying before a lot of people don't always see this as like an urgent matter, but again when this stuff builds up and people don't don't come together and don't do what you're doing here today, yeah. it, it can be urgent. It can have a really bad impact on people. I talked to a volunteer once before when I first started at the Alliance and I said, why do you do what you do? And the person said, well, if you see a wildfire and you know that something bad has happened because the, the ground is black and it's charred, the lakes don't necessarily have the same type of effect, so it always looks kind of good. But unbeknownst to the naked eye, there are things that are going on that are not necessarily always great that are happening. Things like invasive species or tiny pieces of trash that are floating in the water that you can't see, or the fact that cigarette butts are kind of the same color as sand. It might not 
look like it's dirty, but I guarantee you today we'll pick up over 100 pounds of debris off the beach today. We're hoping to make a healthy Great Lakes for today, tomorrow, and forever. Well, I want you to look at that camera there. I want you to tell the people if they want to donate, volunteer, or just check out what you guys are about, where can you go online? You can go online to www.greatlakes.org to be connected with the Alliance for the Great Lakes. Hope to see you soon. Awesome. Thank you so much, man. Thank and you. And thank you for what you're doing. Hey, no problem.